Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're installing a dash cam on my Siren TC. So as you all know, uh, dash cam has been readily available. Like some are really cheap and the prices has gone down a lot and there's so many options now. So I pick one up from Amazon. This is a $30 uh, dash cam. It's resolution it's higher than the 1080p it's uh two two thousand three hundred and four times twelve that one thousand two hundred ninety six resolution so this is not 4k but for the price and the form factor of this this is a pretty good buy for me, in my case and as you all know some house some are really cheap and you're paying not for the hardware but for the software so the the app itself is where the money's at so I think the app for this brand is pretty good it's pretty easy and it's pretty like user friendly if you can say all the function I need is just record while it's driving so I don't have any like, accident and I have that recorded so let's install this on the car so as you know I did not order a a dash cam with a LCD screen because I don't really need an LCD screen on the uh, dash cam and it's kind of blinding at night too I know you can turn off some of the LCD screens on the dash cam but I just like a form factor that's small the squeak and when I put it onto the windshield it, I just don't need to worry about it so I have the phone with the app to connect it if I ever need to uh, use the function inside like get the files or change the functions and change the settings on the dash cam so so now let's try and put this and install this onto the car all right, so now I want to install this on the car. So check for the position that I wanted. Like right here. Right here should be good. Like it's right in the center of the car and out of my way so I don't really see it so it's kind of this creek in a sense right here so now I have the position I'll just grab the long as USB wire and I'll do this you don't really need a um, a prying tool you can use your hand to push the wire inside your headliner it'll be better if you have like a, a tool so you can pry it off a little bit but you don't really need a prying tool so let me measure the wire long just stick it in here Grab a little bit more wire on this side and push it in. So let's just pull this part. And I'll just get more work. Okay, have you? Right, so, for, so for those of you who has a side current airbags, you have to be careful when you're installing it on like hiding your wires here. So you want to carefully pry your a pillar and check where your um, where your side curtain airbags is, and you want to hide your wire behind and out of the uh, airbag. So if you have that, if you have an airbag right here, I suggest you just check how to remove this a pillar so you can see where your airbag is. And behind so on mine I don't have an airbag so it can just tuck this wire in here yeah so let's do it put 
this wire behind here. The wire is tucked and it's right here so I'll just run it down into the bottom here. So now I can wire this. I have the wire tucked in here and all secure. So all I need to do is connect this. Let's pull this off. Put the USB here and just plug this in here. So it's the install was pretty easy. Um, if you have a side curtain airbag, that might take a bit more time because you need to make sure the wire it's not affecting your airbags, your side curtain airbags. So you have to really be careful while rerouting your wire to the foot well and then to the USB lighter port.
there's also a couple of things that I forgot to mention. Um, they have a hard wire kit. So if you're looking for a parking surveillance mode on this camera, it does have it, but you need to purchase the extra wire, which is around $20. So that it doesn't come with an SD card. So make sure you put that in your, into your consideration. Hey guys, so after using this uh, camera for a couple of days, uh, I think I'm highly satisfied with it. Like it records everything. Um, it records when you got like a uh, lots of motion on the car, like when you hit the bump and it's kind of like replicating like uh, someone hitting your car, kind of those kind of vibrations. It will set off the emergency recording video function in the camera so and it stores in your in the memory card and i think i really like it um it's pretty cheap like 30 dollars um the app is pretty easy to use like i think that's the one thing that i like to highlight about this uh camera because um the app is pretty easy to use like to easy to lock into your camera without like going through all the wi-fi and stuff you just press a button and it just locks into your uh, memory card and so you can pick which file you want to download into your phone i think that's a really cool feature of this camera because uh, most of the time what you wanted to do is just download the most important videos for when you are in an accident so you can see it later i think that's what you wanted for a re uh, dash cam to record all the important information, like important uh, videos when you're in an accident so you can view it later. And yeah, I'd give this like a five out of five. Uh, it's pretty good um, so far. Um, it did, however, uh, overheated on me once. Um, it was really hot outside, so, and it's right here at the windshield where it gets all the sunlight from. So I think that's one thing that you might want to consider. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy with it. And hope you guys enjoy this episode. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.